Okay, we are back to finish the van. So we're gonna do a distributor cap and rotor and this pickup. Um, so it's what we're doing. We're finishing it up and we're gonna see if we can't get it to run today. Now you watch the rest of the tear down and so, this will just be on part with it, another video. Now, the video quality may have changed because now I'm shooting from an iPhone 14 Pro. That's what this is being shot on. So, we're gonna hope it looks okay. My other phone died. I decided to give a iPhone a try. So that's what we're doing. So is this at? Mm -hmm. well, let's try standard. goes out so I'm gonna get a screwdriver because it looks like all my stuff ain't gonna fit so that's what we're gonna do Okay, so we're here to finish the van and we're gonna do a distributor, distributor pickup. Well, not the whole distributor, distributor pickup, a cap and a rotor. Um, on these Magnum engines, they call that the cam sensor, the distributor pickup. It operates as a cam sensor. They don't have a cam sensor, they just have a crank sensor down over here. On the back side, it reads off, I believe it's the uh, flex plate or flywheel, depending on whether you have a manual or automatic transmission. Um, so, we're gonna get this all taken apart. There we go. Oh, uh, we got some carbon in there. I don't know if you can see it. She's due for a, she's due for a tear down. Oh, that little guy's on there. There we go. I'm gonna put a little, I'm gonna go get some dielectric grease and put it on there. Just to kinda, that's kind of a rusty. We check for play. Sometimes the bushings can go bad in the distributor and they get some play in them. So there's the pickup, which operates your, basically is your cam sensor and it operates off this little tone ring and how it passes and the computer makes sense of that. I won't go into that deeply, but right now, what we do know is I need to get some dielectric grease and whatnot to clean that up before I put it back together. Cause I'm a, that was, this distributor rotor was stuck on there pretty hard. Shouldn't be that hard to get them off. You can see carbon buildup on that. 
she's pretty bad, so that's where we're going from here. Get some dielectric grease. This is a new pickup. Part number for the new pickup. Alex 53. That's standard lifetime warranty. Pick it up at most of your parts houses carry standard. So I might take a little Scotch Brite and just kind of lightly clean that rust off. Nothing real aggressive. It'll be fine. There we go. Now I'm going to take some dielectric grease. I like to use it wherever. I'm going to put a little on my finger. And I'm just going to wipe it just on the part where that sits. I don't want to get it all down in the, get very much on there. And I don't want to get down the distributor where, you know, at certain RPMs it can clean and coat stuff. Then we're going to put our new rotor on, FD53, part number, also standard, last time. See how pretty that one is? I mean, I don't know if you can see, you're mounted way higher than I am. And the nice thing is, it's a slot, it's, that will only go on one way. See, if I turn it 180 out, it's not going to go. It's so a nice thing about these Magnum. They'll only go one way. Oh yeah, see how that slides on and off? That's better. Now let's set our pickup on there. What I'm gonna do is my pickup. Just got my distributor pickup, there it is. So the distributor pickup sits in here in this notch. The cord comes out, lines up with this notch, so. We're gonna put it on here in such a way, and these two holes will line up with the screw holes for the cap. And we're gonna, again, set this on there. It'll only go on the one way. It's kinda nice. Now we'll set the new cap. And by what I mean by carbon buildup, You'll get carbon buildup and tracking on the inside of a cap. <clears throat> I don't know if you can see that. Doesn't really have tracking, but it's got the pretty good wear. I don't know if you can see the contacts in there. I can't see the foam the way I got it mounted to the steering wheel. It's sitting quite a bit higher than I am. I'm hanging half out the door here. So then this will go on. down on there. There's a knot. So this will only go on. And goes on this way. And and the way, reason this will only go on one way. See the rounded screw? That fits down over rounded. See this one? That fits down over squared, so it'll only go on one way. Okay, figured I'd show you that before I lined it up and screwed it down. Let you know why that will only go on one way. So if your if your truck's in time and you take this cap off, I mean, rotor off. As long as you get your plug wires back in the right spot, everything, you should still be in time. We'll just snug this down. Just, I'm working my way back and forth, snugging it down evenly. Just little finger tight. Just finger inch pounds there. Finger pounds. <clears throat> All right, so now we're going to do some spark plugs. I do have my, so I'm going to pull these out with electric ratchet. I want. 
Now we've got brand new factory plugs it calls for. And it calls for them under the hood. There's a sticker. And it'll tell you the gap and everything. Okay. And uh, I'll edit a picture of that uh, that emission sticker in. It tells you your plug gap and everything else. So, specs for this engine. Are gonna be 40,000. So, we're gonna take our gapper and make sure she's right at 40,000. So boy, she's right there on the money. <clears throat> that is not. So, Hey, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take our spark plug socket here. Run this window in. Come on, let's go with the stupid extension. Oh, there we go. Alright, so I'm going to start this guy by hand. Alright, now that it's started by hand, I'm going to run it down my ratchet here. Son of a mother. That stupid rubber thing. Staying with the spark plug. Quit. Then you go get another spark plug socket. No threads in my head. No wonder that one came out easy. Did I get 
it for used heads. That's exactly what I get for buying used heads. So, I'm going to move on and get these plugs in and out. That one is going to require a thread repair kit. So, Keep this in mind when you buy marketplace heads, eBay heads. I got these dirt cheap. Probably should have pulled the spark plugs to check them before I put them on, but it's done. Looks like only the one on one side has a messed up thread. We'll do a thread start cat. So I'm going to get the rest of these done and I'm going to run and go get a thread repair kit for that hole and then we'll be back.